Hey, Coach Vaughn here to show this advanced Viking steel mace flow workout. A lot of these movements are from my Thor workout, so this is going to be more in-depth tutorial with it. Uh, like my last video, I'm going to show you how to do it with the 360, but this time I'm going to show you how to do it with a single arm 360. All right, so first we're going to be starting with a 360 back step lunge into a side step swing. You'll 360 it, bring it vertical, then you're going to bring it down, both palms down, into a back step lunge. So it's going toward the front leg near your femur, as you see there. Bring it back up vertical, 360, then I'm going to transition into a side step, bringing it toward the bent leg, bringing it vertical, sliding my hand down. I'm pulling with my base hand to get it vertical again to make that easier. So don't I'll use your mace hand just on that side. Then you're going to go right back into it, into that flow, going left to right in that lunge, and then go left to right on that side swing, keeping your head forward, keep your posture nice and tight, and then going left to right with your footsteps. And then to advance it, you can go into a single arm 360. You're now gonna slide that hand into both palms down, as you see there. So really earn it before you try this one with two hands first. So pull it back in, swing it in, slide it down. Always bring it vertical if you need a little bit more time to think with this one before you go into the 360. The next flow is going to be very tough. You're going to be going into a goblet squat. So I'm going to have my mace hand on the top head and my base hand palm up. I'm going to flip it, 360 it, catch it, going to the other side, flipping it again, and I'm going to transition into a half kneeling dead stop. So it's going fully at that dead stop there. I'm going to pull it back in with a push-pull motion with my hands and then transition to the other side, bringing it vertical with my shin, as you see there. Really push off that big toe to launch it back up. Go right back into the flow with the goblet squat, straight back. The mace should be in line with your spine in the front. And then I bring it back, digging that toe down into that dead stop. You wanna to aim toward the ground so you don't hit your shin on that one. So there's a reason it's a dead stop. And then of course, you can add a 360. You got way more emphasis on that catch as you see there. So make sure you have that coordination to really keep this one going. Like I said, own those prerequisites with, with the two hand first before trying this. All right, so if you enjoyed that workout, if you really need a little more work on a certain movement, I've now made an entire playlist for steel mace education and then steel mace workout. So if you feel you need a little more uh, tutorial and an in-depth detail with a certain movement, like with a 360 or more flows, I have a whole playlist now dedicated toward that. So be sure to check that out. This is Coach Ian Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.